I just think you're brainwashed. Something? <laughs> you think I'm brainwashed? You just said you're a feminist and you can't even give me one way to explain why you are. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we jump in, please consider subscribing, give this video a like, and share it with a friend. I greatly appreciate it. Most modern day women in the West, by default, if you ask them, they'll basically say, I'm a feminist. But if you dig a little deeper and say, well, what does that mean? What is a feminist? What does it mean to be a feminist? Chances are, if you ask 10 women, you'll get 10 different answers. Most can't really tell you what being a feminist means, but it usually comes down to something like, well, men and women should be equal. Even though a lot of the stats indicate that women are doing better in basically every metric than men in the modern era. Most people who look into these issues actually know this, but like I said, most modern Western women don't, but they'll tell you they're a feminist. Similarly, they throw around phrases like you're a misogynist, that's misogynistic, misogyny this, patriarchy that, etc. And again, if you ask them to define those things, well, what does misogyny mean? You'll probably get, if you ask 10 women, 10 different answers. This clip from the Whatever podcast shows exactly that. Check it out. Would you date a man who didn't identify himself as a feminist? Yes. A male feminist. Yes. No. Why not? Well, <laughs> for me, I think feminism is just about us all having like the same amount of rights. And what rights yeah. do women just not have in that general, men have? I mean, just. <laughs> Why is this girl laughing? It's just sort of a brain shutdown thing that they do when they have no real logical response. <laughs> I mean, like, where do you I'm think there's an equality in society between men and women? There are no rights that men well, just have. Mean that like women in sports, because all the gender men are coming in. Fair that point. Is a there. Hot well, topic. Well, just like, I <laughs> what mean, do you like, mean? Women in sports in general, I think, because get paid less because there's less viewers for. Well, that's women's why they sports. get paid less because exactly. there's less viewers. Right, but we also okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, my my definition of it is, is really broad. Um, I agree with her. And if someone didn't think... Okay, wait, but back... So okay. no one can give an example of where women don't have the same rights as men, but that's why you think we should... Or that's why you wouldn't date a man who doesn't identify as a feminist, but you can't give one example of where women and men aren't equal, except for women getting paid less in sports, but you just admitted it's because they get less views. Yeah, but I also don't think just because they get less views, should that mean they should get paid less. What? You know what I mean? So you think it's that they bring home like, bring in less almost more championships than and sometimes. You're saying specifically in the context of USA teams competing on the international stage, like female teams perform better than male teams, so they should make more money even though they bring in less sponsorships, viewerships, and promotional deals? <laughs> yes. How I is think, that financially that feasible? Fairly for all the work that they put in. So fairly they should be paid fairly. The NBA has to subsidize the WNBA because they don't bring in enough money. Literally, the WNBA loses money and has to be subsidized by the NBA. So if we're going to pay them fairly, they're getting overpaid. This whole idea of looking at things not from the actual economic business perspective, it's a trade on your talent is being exploited as entertainment and the masses are consuming it and paying money to see it. That's why LeBron James makes as much money as he does, being one of the greatest ever. Tons of people want to go to the games. Tons of people tune in to watch his games. Tons of people buy his merchandise. That's why he gets paid more money. To say some random WNBA player should get paid more just because for fairness is ridiculous. And it's not rooted in an actual reality of business sense. And you can tell most of these, or at least the woman who is sitting there saying this, has never really thought critically about this. Although in the beginning, she even said they get less views. But then she goes on to say that doesn't mean they shouldn't get paid the same amount. So me as a tiny YouTuber who gets no views, it's not fair. 
I should get paid the same that Mr. Beast gets paid, right? Because we want to be fair. I'm doing the same thing. I'm making videos. I should get paid the same amount. That's the argument she's making. It's an argument for equality of outcome, not equality of opportunity. I have the same opportunity Mr. Beast has to put videos on YouTube. He's just way better at it than me, and he gets paid for it. That's equality. What this woman wants is equity. She wants equality of outcome, despite the fact that you're nowhere near as good at something. You should still get paid the same amount. It's ridiculous. Really, it's just because there are women doing the same thing. It's, it has nothing to do with the economics or finances of running a business. Exactly. Just for the sake of gender equality, we should just give women more money because they're women. Because they're women. So I think what you're arguing is for equity and not equality because yes. women have equality. Women have the opportunity yeah. to play sports. But what you're saying is you want also, the equity to be the same as the equity within a, a man's yes. or a male sport. Yes. And financially, economically, unfortunately, the world just doesn't work like that. I think the NBA brings in like $10 billion a year. And they have to subsidize the WNBA. I think the WNBA generates something like 50 or 60 million and the NBA still has to put money in so that they can run not at a loss. So despite the fact that the NBA brings in billions and the WNBA can't even bring in 100 million, she thinks that the WNBA players should get paid the same amount as the NBA players. Now, another funny aspect of this is, and Bill Burr made a joke about this, None of these women watch the WNBA. Almost guaranteed they probably couldn't tell you the name of any player except for maybe Brittany Griner because she was in headlines for other reasons, or maybe now Caitlin Clark since she was just drafted and she's been all over social media and in headlines. But it's so hypocritical because they demand equity. They demand that females get paid the same amount, even though they generate far less revenue, even though people don't tune in to watch them. And the same people saying that they should get paid the same amount, they don't even watch them. And that's yeah. why it is the way it is. Also to extrapolate that men and women are not equal. And the one anecdotal example that you sort of debunked and gave was like a niche <laughs> issue of women's sports. Is there anything that maybe affects more than like the maybe collective thousand, 10,000 women in the United States who are oh, professional wow. athletes? This girl is sharp. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, no, I'm know, asking I this here. I just, I mean this genuinely. Like, I know it's the normal thing to say you're a feminist, right? Like, if you don't say it, maybe you get pushed back on a college campus. Or it's just sort of like the normal thing to do. I feel like most women probably say, oh, yeah, I'm a feminist because that means men and women are equal. But it sounds like you, you don't really have like a very well thought out explanation as to why you Bingo. identify as one. So like, Bingo. where okay, do you well, think so that programming me, comes from? Okay, or why do you me, identify? I guess I would say I'm a feminism just because I just I'm think like girls should support like other girls and just like whatever their endeavors may be in life. That's my answer. So it's not that men and women are unequal in society. No. But isn't that misandrist, misandry, right? Just like they like to always leverage the accusation of misogyny, right? Just saying that I'm a feminist because regardless of things like merit or character, et cetera, I'm just team woman. I support women no matter what. That's what feminism means to me. On the same line of argument, if I said no matter what, I'm always just going to support men. I'm team man. I'm, I'm a, what's the uh, masculinist? I don't know. There's not even a word for it because it's so ridiculous. There's always this double standard. It's perfectly fine for a woman to say, I'm a feminist and I believe in empowering women and we should support other women and lift up other women and, and have opportunities for women and women, 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 women. But if a man were to say that about men, it would come off as being off color and you, they'd probably get accused of being a misogynist. It's a double standard. No. Well, I mean, I do think that they are unequal be biologically, yes. Well, I think they're unequal because there's more so things So if they're unequal biologically, do. isn't that why there's a pay disparity, right? Because people would rather watch male sports because male athletes typically, even at like a college level, can outperform some of the most elite female athletes. High school. High school, middle school. High school, yeah. yeah. Again, sports, I think, is, is a niche example, but like what's... I mean, anyone on the panel who said they're feminists, can you give me one way that men and women aren't equal in today's society? Isn't there a... Don't say pay gap. <laughs> Don't say wage gap. 
I was just going to say that, yes. <laughs> so go ahead, enlighten us. <laughs> so that number there's that you're quoting a, there, there's a is they why. took the average of all the wages that men who are basically employees or work aren't just, you know, doing a hobby at home, little small business. Men, women didn't time control any variables for time, education, salary, time spent in the job, what the job is, and they just averaged it. They didn't control for anything. Now, I'm no fan of sociological studies, and frankly, this is why, because they don't control for a lot of variables, but they averaged it, and then they said, well, women make 73 cents on a dollar, but if you actually adjust for a lot of those variables in some of the more recent studies they've done, they've actually found that the pay gap diminishes virtually to zero, and in a lot of urban areas, women actually tend to outperform mm -hmm. men, and frankly, if you get into the whole all the entire DEI push, in most of corporate America, I think you could even start to say that underqualified women and other forms of minorities, and the women aren't a minority, are overpaid in terms of their credentials and qualifications for a job. But the pay gap just does not exist at all. And I would ask you this, if you guys think the wage gap exists, if Brian could hire the two of us and get away with paying, get away with paying me 75% less, why wouldn't he do that? And why wouldn't the entire workforce be basically all female? Like there's this great loophole that corporate America has that you just like get to save 25% on expenses if you hire women. Exactly. Exactly. I used to own a company. I had almost a hundred employees and I've said this before. If I could just pay women less, I would have just hired all women. But of course that's not the case at all. In fact, I believe my team was, about 50 50 it just happened to be that way but most of my my leadership in the company were women the highest paid people in my company were women and that's just how it ended up because i just hired people based on who was best for the job who has the best experience who interviewed the best and who do i think is going to fit better in this organization it just so happened i think all of my leadership team were, were women and so it's just ridiculous if you look at it from the perspective of a capitalist, of a business owner, if it were the case that we could just get the same thing, so that is, if women perform just as well as men in most jobs, a corporate setting, for example, there's definitely proclivities that men and women have and preferences that men and women have, like nursing tends to be female, you know, the trades tend to be male, but in general, like let's say corporate America, if I could get the same amount of talent and skill out of a woman as a man, but pay the woman 75% as much as I paid the man as a capitalist, I would hire all women. But of course, that's not the case. When everything is held constant, experience, education, et cetera, et cetera, the gap diminishes, it disappears. Because when you control for those variables, men and women don't get paid differentially. In fact, if they do, in some cases, it's the other way. Women make more. Women are more successful on basically every important metric today as well, whether it's graduating college, getting jobs in corporate America, uh, even things like you know suicide rates and, and stuff like that. It's all favoring women today. So this idea that women are disadvantaged and you've got to fight for women's rights and all these things, it, it's really just nonsense. And when people start to talk about it logically, like this young lady is doing, and I, I'll figure out her name. I know she's Steve Bannon's co-host on his show, but I can't remember her name. I'll make sure I give it to you guys before we get off here. But when you start to break these things down logically to people like the rest of this panel, the self-proclaimed feminists, I think maybe a couple of the other girls on the other side of the table are not self-proclaimed feminists. It's like it doesn't compute because you're just completely dismantling their worldview and they've never thought deeply about these things. They've just always accepted the narrative that you've got to be a feminist. Women get paid less than men. Women have to fight for their rights and so on and so forth. But if you actually look at reality, that's not the case. True. So, does, so wait, so does the wage gap exist? I just think I, you're brainwashed. Something? You think I'm brainwashed? <laughs> you just said you're a feminist and you can't even give me one way to explain why you are. Feminism that's all I had to say. Just, I just think you're brainwashed. Hey, feminism She thinks to she's me brainwashed. Means that I feel empowered, okay? Like I just feel like, uh, 
But why does that have I to be I feel like women should be able to thing. exercise their independence. That's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of... How can um, you not exercise your independence exactly. in today's society? Um, I just feel like that there's a lot of social norms that... Uh, that For men and women. I don't know if I'm best, best explaining this, but I mean, I... I think that there is a lot of um, expectations for women to behave a certain way, and um, too. I think like pushing out of those those norms or those cultural norms is. Um, are there not expectations for men to behave a certain way too? Yes, there are absolutely. <laughs> and, but so. when I say that I'm a feminist, I mean like I feel like like females are empowered. That's that's what that means to me. But implied in that, I feel like is that there are societal forces that are stripping you away of your empowerment. So I guess what I'm saying is wage gap aside, how are you not empowered? I, I would almost argue it's easier to start a business in America as a woman. You have preferential treatment when it comes to loans, mm -hmm. uh, preferential hiring processes, um, literally just because you're a woman. Women are the majority of yep. college graduates. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's life uh, being a, a, a woman, I feel like in some ways kind of life on easy mode if you <laughs> play into the corporate structure. So Facts. how are you Facts. not, I mean, they literally have empowerment programs that they don't allow men, let alone straight white men in. So there's literally a multi-billion dollar corporate push to empower women. So how are you not empowered? I, I'm just saying like I, I am a proponent of, of feeling empowered. I'm a proponent of female empowerment too. But People say my boss is a misogynist and he is a female co-host, but I think female empowerment doesn't come from pretending that there are issues in society saying that we're unequal to men. And I think if you guys all consider, you know, you think I'm brainwashed, you can think that, but you also espouse an ideology that you can't even give me literally one example why you actually believe it, <laughs> let alone define it, but you just slap that label on because that's what mainstream society has told you to believe. So I think um, you're actually the one who's brainwashed. I'm brainwashed. Yes. Girl, you are so based. <laughs> Thank you. It's just amazing that so many people proclaim to have a particular ideology that they haven't thought deeply about at all. All those women say they're a feminist. They can't tell you what feminism is. They can't tell you why they're a feminist. They can't tell you any of the statistics and give any examples of how women are disadvantaged in today's society. Shocker, because they're not. Oh, I wanted to give you guys this girl's name. Natalie Winters is her name. So great job. Shout out Natalie Winters, uh, very sharp, knows her stuff. She's done her research. And then you see there, when you confront people like this with facts, they just default to name calling, ad hominem attacks, often referring to their emotions. And I feel like this and I feel like that. And yeah, but okay, fine. We're, we're not unequal, but I just, I'm a feminist because I, I like the idea of being empowered. Okay, great. Everybody does, right? We can all be empowered, but that doesn't mean you have to be a feminist. You clearly haven't thought about the meaning of that word and saying she's brainwashed, which was hilarious. Here's someone who has orders of magnitude more knowledge and has thought more about her worldview than you have, yet she's the brainwashed one. So, but it, that always happens with these low IQ simpletons who just live off of emotion. They resort immediately to name calling. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. I just thought it was a good one to show and to talk about because it's a perspective you don't get as often, although we are getting it more and more. Uh, it seems that there are more and more voices who have actually done their research and who know about these topics. And there are more and more women who proclaim publicly that they're not a feminist because they actually understand what feminism is. Just like there's no men who take this vehemently pro-man, like I'm a masculinist type of perspective because no, we all have the same opportunities. We all have the same rights. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, bye.